today's video I'm going to be adding some more chili raspberries to my aquarium. At the moment I've probably got around 8 or 9 of these in my tank, so I wanted to add about 20 more just to boost the shoal up to make them look a bit nicer throughout the aquascape. So in this video I'm going to show the whole process on how I acclimated these chili raspberries, and then at the end I'm going to show you some footage of them once they're settled into their new home. But just before we get into it, if you enjoy this video please give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this please subscribe to the channel to see more. So right now I'm just letting the bag float in the aquarium for a bit just to show you guys what they look like after I took them out of the box. You can see these little raspberries are so hard to pick up on the camera that's why it's a little bit blurry right now. I ordered these chili raspberries online and got them through the post. Even though the chili raspberries have been stuck in a dark box for about a day you can see they're already starting to colour up very quickly. Because chili raspberries are so small they are really sensitive so you got to be really careful when you acclimate them to a new tank. So I like to use the drip method, uh, this will slowly let the raspberries get used to the new water conditions they'll be living in. So right now I'm just going to carefully cut open the bag and release the fish into the bucket. Since these raspberries are really small and delicate they don't really travel well so when you get them posted sometimes they don't survive. From this batch I had about 3 or 4 that didn't make it. So I recommend getting these guys from your local fish shop instead of getting them delivered just to increase the survival chances of them. For this drip acclimation I'm going to set the flow rate to about 1 drip per second. And I'm going to let my tank water trickle into the bucket for about 5 hours. Drip acclimating these chili raspberries for 5 hours may sound a bit excessive but I just want to increase their survival chances when they get moved into my aquarium. I'm going to adjust the flow rate by tightening a knot in the airline tubing. This will reduce the amount of water going into the bucket. Here is some footage of the chili raspberries being acclimated. You can see these raspberries are so tiny. I think they're about 1-2cm to two in length. I think the best kind of way to describe them is that they're similar in length to baby guppy fry. So the chili raspberry has been drip acclimated for about 5 hours now and you can see the original amount of water has tripled in volume. So now I'm going to slowly net them out of the bucket and add them to my aquarium. So you can see right now I've already got some chili raspberries in the tank so I just wanted to boost the numbers up just to see if I can get some more interesting behaviour out of these guys. Right now the chili raspberries are really pale in colour so they're just going to get adapted to their new surroundings and they'll start to colour up in a few hours. You can also see that these raspberries are really skinny. I think they're wild caught but I'm not 100% sure. After a few weeks of good feeding they should fatten up a bit more and look a bit more healthier. Also I'm sorry for the footage being out of focus, it's really hard to focus the camera onto these little tiny raspberries. So here's some footage of them, after about 2 or 3 hours you can see they start to colour up really nicely now. You can see how active these little guys are just picking away at the food at the top of the water. I think these might be my favourite nano fish now. I'm thinking about making a guide video on how to look after them so if you want to see that leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And now I'm going to leave you some footage of the chili raspberries while they eat. 